Hello, I'm Teresha Young, a Relationship Master Coach, and welcome to Real Relationship Talk. Self-love. Now, you likely to have heard a lot about this topic, especially from yours truly. The idea that we should love ourselves wholly and fully, raise our spirits, be kind and understanding to ourselves. But the notion of self-love can be really unclear at some times. And I have been asked today, what exactly is self-love? Which goes on to say in this question, there's so much out there about loving yourself first and that it can help your relationships. I'm quite new to this concept and I've downloaded your new seven day me time plan, hey, which I love as there's some great ideas to take care of yourself. But when I speak to my fiance about self-love, he says that it's being conceited and selfish. I'm a little confused. Can you help me to understand more about self-love? I absolutely can. <laughs> well, firstly, let me start by congratulating you on downloading the seven day me time plan because there's lots of juicy daily strategies in there that can help you along your self-love journey. Now, when it comes to self-love, your boyfriend isn't likely to be alone when it comes to the way that he's thinking about it as self-love is often confused for being conceited, selfish, self-centered. And this is probably because it's been a huge focus about simply pampering yourself, getting yourself fancy things. And with no judgment, that is still a form of self-love, but it's so much more greater than just those things. And I could talk for hours about this topic because it's something I'm truly passionate about. However, for the purpose of this bite-sized video, and response, let's dig in firstly to a few things that self-love is not, because it can be tainted when it is misused. So firstly, self-love is not a justification for unhealthy behaviors or habits. Now you will notice that if you are hurting the relationship you have with yourself through unhealthy behaviors or habits, that is not a form of self-love and you can often identify this by feeling down about yourself feeling bad any feelings of guilt blame shame or simply feeling quite disconnected with yourself and sometimes these unhealthy behaviors and habits can show up when we become i guess obsessed is that the word great with um food alcohol so for example where you've overindulged or you see it as a treat to yourself but it causes more harm than good perhaps you can relate to this or sometimes self-love can be used as a form of denial or to ignore the seriousness of a situation so looking after yourself and treating yourself well is absolutely critical when it comes to self-love however if you've got a medical condition there may be only certain limits that you can take to taking care of yourself and medical advice should be sought as an alternative or as an addition to. Also, self-love is not about avoiding responsibilities. So, for example, let's say you go and you max out your credit card for something that you really love that makes you feel good in the moment, but you've got loads of debt or you can't even afford it. That is not a form of self-love. Self-love is not also when it hurts other people. I hear people say, and you probably might have heard the same, that they say and they do hurtful things because they are speaking their truth, just saying it as it is, or being authentic. And this interpretation of self-love is because they feel that they've got their own back and they're keeping it real. However, self-love does not hurt others. It does not undermine others. Is, it's just no justification for being rude, mean, venomous, judgmental, dismissive, disrespectful. Self-love just does not hurt other people. And self-love is not also about being selfish by disregarding other people's feelings or being dishonest or exhibiting narcissistic traits. That is not self-love. Self-love also isn't a case of stifling your own growth. Now, let's be quite honest here. It can be easy to become a creature of habit. 
to do the same things over and over again. But change is one of life's inevitabilities because life is always evolving and we are constantly, constantly learning about who we are, our likes, our dislikes. And therefore, if we're not giving ourselves the space for self-growth, and also for self-evaluation so that we can witness our thoughts our feelings and our actions then we are missing out on key components of self-love i really am a firm believer that change and growth allows us and gives us the permission to live a life that is full of expression to allow us to be in the truth of ourselves so that we can be the very best version of ourselves Therefore, if you find that there is anything stopping you from opening up your heart to change and growth, and it's actually also hindering your learning, take time to evaluate this, take stock of where you are, and make changes so that you can fully experience the self-love journey. So those are just a few things that can be deemed to be self-love but they're actually not so i will repeat that it's not about hurting the relationship you have with yourself by having unhealthy behaviors and habits it's not about hurting other people and also not about stifling your growth so what exactly is self-love well i speak from the heart here because it's such a beautiful thing true 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 self-love comes from the heart not from ego it's about you taking care of yourself and treating yourself exceptionally well. About being nice and kind and understanding and loving to yourself. About having self-compassion and really appreciating the amazing, amazing person that you are and all that you have to give to others and also to the world. About you feeling really, really great about yourself having a healthy, fulfilling relationship with yourself on the inside and out. Well, you know your values, you set good, healthy boundaries with others, and you also protect your energy. Self-love is guided by self-respect, respect for others, empathy, and also consideration for yourself and others. Self-love is such a really amazing experience if you can nurture and you can nourish it. And you will really appreciate that everything you care about and the people that you care about too are going to get the very best of you when you are nourishing your mind, your body and your essence. It's such a holistic practice to embody fully and completely. And if you have a lot of negative self-talk, negative self-beliefs, then you may actually struggle with the idea of self-love and viewing yourself in a loving way. And that's completely understandable because it's probably years of that negative self-talk and self-belief that will stop you from fully appreciating the beauty of who you are. But a good question to ask yourself if you are struggling with self-love is how would your perception of yourself change if viewed through the lens of those who love you. Think about that again. How would your perception of yourself change if viewed through the lens of those who love you? Because it's kind of like a picture. If you're actually in the picture, it's so difficult to see everything that's going on. But if you are an observer of that picture, you can witness exactly what is happening. So if in doubt, zoom out and look in through the lens of somebody who really loves you. Remember, self-love is a journey, not a destination. So really go gently with the process, especially if you are new to this, like you have said in your question today, and for anybody else, watching this video because you are human so there may be some bumps along the way but simply give yourself the space and the time to grow and to connect with yourself more deeply on a daily basis
because it's such a beautiful experience and you're going to get the very best of yourself when you treat yourself right, when you truly care for yourself. And other people will also benefit from that beautiful and loving energy that you are creating and exhibiting. So I really hope that has been helpful for you today. If you have not already downloaded my seven day me time plan, then I would invite you to do so. I will drop a link to access that copy somewhere around this video, either in the description or comments, the link will be there. So apply those daily strategies and really start to develop that relationship that you have with yourself. Me time is critical. And if you're watching this thinking, I still need help, on the self-love journey, something that's really specific to myself, then please do reach out to me. You can visit my website, www.tarishayoung.com, or you can send me a direct message across all social media platforms, I'm known as Teresha Young. And I would love to see if and how I can help you, because you may have that negative self-talk, that negative habits and self-belief that we can clearly work together on. So until the next video, you do take great care of yourself and other people.